Okay, let us now move to question number 7. The area of the region described by A equals x comma y such that x square plus y square is less than equal to 1 and y square is less than equal to 1 minus x. So, set A involves interior or boundary of the circle and interior or boundary of the parabola. So, let us draw the two curves first. Drawing the circle with radius 1 and parabola opening towards left hand side. The vertex of the parabola which is y square equals 1 minus x is clearly 1 comma 0 or while we solve it with the circle x square plus y square equals 1 on substituting it we obtain x square plus 1 minus x equals 1 that is x equals 0 or 1. So, these are the points of intersection. Drawing the parabola now. like this. The required reason that is is the shaded one fine. Now, we have to find the area bounded by the circle and this parabola. This point is 1 comma 0 correct. Required area equals we can easily find the area of the semicircle this portion as pi r square divided by 2 pi r square by 2 where r is 1 plus double of this shaded portion this one twice 0 to 1 y parabola that is root 1 minus x dx. It is pi by 2 plus twice of 1 minus x raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by minus 3 by 2 within the boundaries 0 to 1. Simplifying we obtain pi by 2 minus 4 by 3 times 1 minus x to the power 3 by 2 from the limit 0 to 1. On substituting 1, it is 0. On substituting 0, it is 1. Therefore, we obtain the required area as pi by 2 plus 4 by 3 square units. So, let us select it from the given options and we find option 4 is correct. Therefore, option 4 is correct. Fine. So, let us move to next question that is question number 8. Okay, let us go for the next question. The image of the line x minus 1 upon 3 equals y minus 3 upon 1 equals z minus 4 upon minus 5 in the plane 2x minus y plus z plus 3 equals 0 is the line 4 options are given. Now, when we require image of a line in a plane, we need to check out certain points. Say this is the plane and the line is inclined, it is intersecting with the plane. If it is intersecting, we will find the point of intersection and will find image of the point on the line with respect to the plane. Second possibility. This is the plane and the line is perpendicular to the plane. In that case, image will be the line itself or this is the plane, line is parallel to the plane. In that case, the image will also be parallel to the plane. So, we need to check out certain issues so that we can save our time for finding the result. Line has ratios as 3, 1, minus 5. 
Direction ratios of the normal are 2, minus 1 and 1. Since direction ratios of the line given one are 3, 1, minus 5 and the direction ratios of the normal to the plane are 2, minus 1 and 1. Therefore, when we try to find the angle between the two, we observe cos theta that comes 6 minus 1 minus 5 divided by root of 9 plus 1 plus 25 root of 4 plus 1 plus 1 that is 0 simply. In exam time, we simply need to check out the result 6 minus 1 minus 5 that comes out 0 means line is parallel to the given plane. This is the plane, this is the line, normal is perpendicular to the line. So, the image will be parallel to the plane. We have one point on the line say given one if we look at the line 1, 3 and 4. Let us mark it as P 1, 3, 4. Image of this point say Q. We can easily find image of point P with respect to plane using the direct formula x minus x1 divided by A which is from the plane y minus y1 upon b, z minus z1 upon c equals minus twice of ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d. Divided by a square plus b square plus c square. When we simplify this result, we find 3 cancelled out, 6 by 6 cancelled out. So, we are left with simply minus 2. Hence, x comes out as minus 3. Fine. y comes out as 5 while z is 2. So, the coordinates of the point q, we find minus 3, 5 and 2. Correct. We have the coordinates of point Q. We have the direction ratios of the line as the same of the given line. Hence, the equation of line is concluded as x plus 3 divided by 3 equals y minus 5 divided by 1 equals z minus 2 divided by minus 5. Right. So, when we look at the given options, we observe option 4 is the correct one, correct? Therefore, option 4 is correct. So, in this manner, we can find the solution of this question. Let us move to the next one. Okay, let us start with question number 9. The variance of first 50 even natural numbers is a question from stats. Four options are given. So, let us start for variance. Variance that is sigma square, it is given by summation x i square i is 1 to n divided by n minus summation x i i is 1 to n divided by n whole square correct now when i go for even natural numbers it is simply 2 square 4 square up to 100 square divided by 50 
माइनस टू प्लस फोर प्लस एंड सो ऑन अप टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय फिफ्टी होल स्क्वायर ऑन सिंप्लीफाइंग वी कैन टेक टू स्क्वायर कॉमन वी आर लेफ्ट विद वन स्क्वायर प्लस टू स्क्वायर अप टू फिफ्टी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय फिफ्टी माइनस ट्वाइस ऑफ वन प्लस टू प्लस अप टू फिफ्टी डिवाइडेड बाय फिफ्टी होल स्क्वायर सम कैलकुलेशन जॉब इज लेफ्ट वी विल गेट द आंसर फॉर इट वन स्क्वायर प्लस टू स्क्वायर अप टू फिफ्टी स्क्वायर दैट इज सम ऑफ स्क्वायर ऑफ फिफ्टी नेचुरल नंबर इट इज फिफ्टी इंटू फिफ्टी वन इंटू वन ओ वन डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड विथ फिफ्टी माइनस टू टाइम्स फिफ्टी इंटू फिफ्टी वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू इंटू फिफ्टी होल स्क्वायर on simplifying we cancel out some terms we get 3434 minus in this case 51 whole square that is 2601 subtracting the two we obtain the result as 833 so the question from stats involves little bit of calculation but not a big one go for the next one Okay let's go for question number 10 If z is a complex number such that mod z is greater than equal to 2 then the minimum value of mod z plus half there are four options given lies in the interval 1 to 2 is strictly greater than 5 by 2 is strictly greater than 3 by 2 but less than 5 by 2 is equal to 5 by 2 a question from complex number but we can solve is quite comfortably using geometry of complex numbers real axis imaginary axis correct now number z is such that it is satisfying the inequality mod z is greater than equal to 2 when we look at the term mod z equals 2 it means we are talking about a circle mod z greater than equal to 2 means exterior of the circle fine we have to find the minimum value of mod z plus half means distance of the point z satisfying this inequality from the point minus half comma 0 this is minus half comma 0 point this is origin correct distance of this point when we are talking about the minimum obviously it will lie on the line joining this point with the center we can clearly observe this distance will be the minimum distance this radius is 2 this is half so the remaining length is 3 by 2 so clearly from figure minimum value of mod z plus half is equal to 3 by 2 correct let's go for the next question 